Yes, today we are back with the next part of Mind Reader on the episode Choose Your Story. If you have not seen the other ones, you can catch up on the playlist right here. We learned so much info in the last one. First off, we had our whole little sugar daddy moment with Vasily. We finally cracked into his mind, saw his visions. We learned a ton of info about the case that we are trying to crack. But we learned there's a higher up. It's not just Vasily who was the head of his little art theft operations. There's someone else and their voice is recognizable. B knows the voice from somewhere. Who it is, we don't know. But at the end of the last one, we're having dinner with Vasily. We're kind of talking about how the romance doesn't happen anymore kind of thing. It, uh, just watch it. If you haven't seen the last one, you'll understand more. But a man comes up and B recognizes the voice. I think this is the man. This is the head. This is the head dude. So we're going to find out who it is finally. There's some theories. There's some theories. And we're going to find out which one is true or if any of them are true. But please go read the amazing author Lisa stories. They're so good. This last two chapters got me so hyped and I'm so ready for this one. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like as it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Oh, boss. I didn't think I'd see you here. This is him, Blanca, that voice. I took a glimpse behind my back and I recognized the familiar face, this man. So who's the target? Craig Laren, a criminal. Not Diamond. It's him? The collarbone guy? He works for Vasily? What are the odds? Wait. Garcia will transport the necklace to the stash tomorrow. You have two days. Garcia, wasn't he? Don't worry about it. That's why I felt so off after seeing this vision. He was there. Craig was his pawn. I should have known better. He even had a Russian surname. I'd appreciate if he's... Wait, wait. Is he the head guy or is... Um, okay. Or is there a different higher up then? Especially in public. Maybe I was right. All right, former boss. Former, so we cut ties from his people. Nice to meet you, lady. Have we met before? Calm down, but you had a wig. Just keep it casual. We've never met. No, sir, I'm pretty sure we've never met. Really. Mr. Laren is one of my former associates. What are you doing here anyway? I was just leaving a meeting when I saw you. With this beautiful woman, you can't blame me for being curious. This is my daughter's tutor, so hold your horses. Lily Spencer. Maybe this will make my cover reliable. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Miss Spencer. Pleasure is mine, Mr. Laren. Girl, talk in a different voice. A tutor, you say. Does he recognize me? That's impossible. If yes, my cover's screwed. I need to figure something out. I have to call someone from the FBI. Excuse me, could I use the restroom? Of course, Miss Spencer. I'll be waiting for you. I'm so scared. This is not good. And this chapter is called Busted. Think, think. He could recognize, he couldn't recognize me. I was in disguise. And it happened almost a month ago. There's no chance he would recognize my voice. I haven't kept it lower than usual. Stop panicking. You're overthinking again. I could just focus and check his mind instead of panicking in the toilet. Who should I even call? There you are, Diamond. Ah, he knows. I'm so scared. I'm nervous. What? Why are you here, sir? It's the ladies' room. Don't worry, sweetheart. I locked the door so nobody would interrupt us. Now tell me, do you think that I'm blind? I don't understand. You're the club girl. The one who tried to seduce me. The one that wanted to scam me for money. And now you want me to believe you're suddenly a tutor working for the richest man in town? What a coincidence. I'm sorry, but you're definitely mistaking me for someone else. Listen, I recognize a face when I see it. And faces are one thing, but your choice of dress wasn't the best. Oh, I read your tattoo. The same tattoo that I saw in that club, so cut your bullshit, babe. I forgot about the tattoo. I think my boss will form a boss. He'll be delighted to check your actual background. Maybe he would even reconsider hiring me again for this hint, huh? What do you think, Lily? Is that your real name, Diamond? You know what? Rude approach. Shut up, you prick. Do you want me to do you want to clean his accounts? Or maybe you're some sort of spy. Enough. It's getting too dangerous. What do you want? How are you so sure I want anything from you? You didn't tell him directly. You came here to talk to me. What do you want to keep your mouth shut? A quickie will do. <gasps> oh no. You have exceptionable collarbones. Look. After the club night, I really regretted that things ended like that. The number you gave me, it was fake. I didn't want you to contact me. Well, now you don't have much of a choice. 
oh no, quick hook up and I'll keep our secret safe. The choice was impossible to make. Should I do it to rescue the mission or should I give up and let my cover burn? I'm going to have to agree to it. (sighs) Only because this, the cover will be blown because if Vasily finds out, this is so gross. This man is disgusting. I might cut out the rest of this just in case this is too much for anybody. Honestly, y'all, I might cut this part out. Oh, she beat his ass up. I thought, let's unlock it. (gasps) The quick punch made my head spin. I couldn't react as I was trapped under Craig's body. But you tricked me. Let me go. I'm in disbelief because I actually had to pause for a second. Like I had a wheel weight and was like, what this is this is a lot. This is an intense episode, y'all. Are you okay, Miss Spencer? Petrov, what happened? Did Petrov, what are you doing here? You've been gone for so long that I found it suspicious. Then I heard the noise as I knew something was wrong. Did he just save me from one of his people? Oh my gosh, this is, there's so many layers to this experience right now. I don't even know what to think. This is the messiest situation. I really feel for people who, at this is real situations. Also, that situation that just happened, those men, they're real. They're disgusting. Or anybody. It could be anybody. It doesn't have to be a man. Anybody could be that disgusting and gross. He was going to have his way with her. Without consent. That is absolutely gross. That is absolutely disgusting. Do do I did Vastly do something to him? Did he put a little extra hole in him? I don't know. But does he deserve it? Hell yes, he does. Did he, he's dead, but don't worry, I'll fix it. Oh, wow. Well, the cover saved. Is it my fault? Dead. I mean, a Blanc- I mean, okay, she's going through a lot. I was going to say, but Blanca, like he was going to like, are you? I have no sympathy for what happened to that man. I have no sympathy whatsoever. He was going to, so you know what? Karma. Karma came back. Do I like, do I want people to die? No, but I'm not saying a word. You need to trust me on this. You have to do exactly what I'm telling you. Mr. Petrov, did you do it on purpose? He was a criminal after all. What happened? Did you, my question made him shake, but it was enough to make me think about it. See what happened. Let's see a lot of you in. Hey, wake up. Okay. 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 This is... So Craig just hit the floor a little too hard. I felt relieved and it was just an accident still. We should report it to the police. Just let me take care of it, Miss Spencer. I know what I'm doing. Obviously, he wouldn't want to testify knowing his background. They'll find connections between them. We have to call somebody. He can still be saved. Miss Spencer, you have to know that things between us are pretty complicated. As for the reason I can't tell you, I can't contact the police. They could put me in prison and I can't leave my daughter. So please let me take care of it. Listen, Mr. Petrov, I don't care about your shady businesses or whatever you have to hide. This man is dead because of me and I have to... But I... I'll say it was self-defense and then I pushed him away. What? I'll take the blame. Just go back to the table and I'll take care of it. You're safe and Olga is too, I promise. Miss Spencer, I hurry. Do we check Craig's condition? I'm just calling the police. I really don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm really not sorry, actually. Police. I think I killed a man. Oh my gosh, my body was still shaking when the police arrived to investigate the crime scene. What did I get myself into? So the unidentified drunk man attacked you in the ladies' room. While you tried to defend yourself, you broke his nose and pushed him away. His head hit the floor and he lost consciousness, is that correct? Yes. Is that all I remember, Miss Spencer? Yes. Very well, we'll contact you in a few days if you have more details. Are you sure you're okay now? They can take you to the hospital for observation. I feel okay, I just want to go home. Thank you once again. I'm so sorry for what happened to this employee. Mr. Petrov, you probably saved my life. You saved me from an assault for sure. It's the least I can do. 
I feel bad for lying to the police officer for covering Vasily too, but part of me felt responsible for what happened. You were not responsible for what happened, Blanca. Yes, in the past, what happened with the man, you scanned and you did all that stuff to the man. Yes, we understand. But that, but he was going to R word you, and that is absolutely not okay. No, ma'am. I do not feel bad for what happened to that man. I'm waiting for a friend to fetch me from here. You can go. I'll be fine. Are you sure? Please, Olga must be worried. Who? Oh, there's so many layers to this. Thank you. What What are y'all emotions? Maybe I need to come down from emotions real quick to get my thoughts because this chapter took us places. Maybe I need to reevaluate things I've said. I don't know yet. Oh, but my gosh, what do you guys think in the comments? What do you guys think? All the emotions inside Petrov's head surprised me. I thought he would be calculated cold, but he was a shaking mess just like me. I could feel many things, fear, gratitude, even trust. Thinking clearly in this mess was a huge challenge, but I remembered what the master said just a few days ago. In general, all strong feelings are welcome. Oh, is she gonna? Well, it's not easy to use them. And it's usually dangerous if the victim is panicked, mad, angry, so it's safer to work with positive feelings. She's gonna get in. And even it was still my chance to use it. Check his memory. Damn, Blanca, this girl is an agent. She is an icon. She is the moment. Do you think of consulting with me? The first time I let you participate and you're making trouble. Your stupid rules needed adjusting. Let's just make an example of them. He was the one who disobeyed. So now your policy includes killing off the guards? You clearly have no idea what consequences it can bring. Next time, I better stick to your part selling. I won't have anything to sell if you aren't feared enough. You've got soft patrol and your people can see it. Don't think about it too much. It was only a guard. Two more weeks and sold. Ramiro pay our people for the next few months. Oh, what happened? You look pale. Oh, nothing, nothing. I think my friend... Should be here in a minute. I'll go. If you need anything, just call me. I'll call you next week. That memory. Blanca. I'm so happy you've arrived. I left the office as soon as I read the message. Vastly already left, right? Yes, he went home. I need to tell you something, Phil. I saw. You're covered in blood. It's his blood. I broke the guy's nose. What happened? I'll tell you everything in the car, okay? Come with me. Ooh, I'm still so hyped. I'll tell all my thoughts at the end of this chapter, actually. Now that I can calm down and think about everything rationally. You knew this man. I tried to skim him once he recognized me. What if they connect you to him? Only Jeff knows about it. And Sam. The rest is true. He was drunk. He wanted to get me. I couldn't tell the police the details. Vastly was with me all the time. That's why I called you in the first place. I trust you can use your FBI magic to fix this. I thought you called me because we were friends. That too, yes. So fell. I don't know how it works, but could you help me? I can say her agent was in danger because of the mission, and that because of the circumstances, they couldn't tell the full truth to the officer. We'll fix it. Don't worry about it. Thank you, Phil. I owe you. I'm just glad that you're safe. You wanted to tell me something. I had the memory break in again. Oh, you did? Did the affection strategy work again? I can't tell him the real reason, but I can try to tell a half-truth. No, actually, Vastly and I are in friendly terms now. But he was very concerned about me after he found out what happened. His feelings were enough to break in. And I saw him. I saw Vastly's partner and they were talking about the thefts. And it took me a while, but I recognized him. You did, and who was it? It was... I know y'all are going to hate me right now. I know y'all are going to hate me, but we have to wait to read the next chapter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know the collective screams of everyone being angry. But that chapter was a lot. Oh, my gosh. First off, that man came back. He recognized Blanca. Took her in the bathroom. All that stuff. We made that, like, hard call to do something with the man. Only for Blanca to fight back. Understandable, girl. And then he tried to take advantage of everything. Vastly came to our rescue. The man died. Um, you know, I don't like when people pass away, but do I feel bad? Absolutely not with what that man was trying to do. I know it's like a whole messy, deeper situation, but Vastly hadn't stepped in and that accident hadn't have happened. B would have been... Yeah, it would have been very serious. It already was extremely what not been serious. It's been it's been serious. Um, so that happened, and then we are knowing who this guy is now. We also are finding out that Vasily, I mean, we know he's 
he's he was bad news in the past. We know he's done rotten things. He's been a bad, he's been a bad person. We're finding out as like the stories come, you know, we've we're breaking into these visions that Vasily wasn't behind a lot of this um super bad stuff. So we're gonna find out, but let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions. It means a lot to me to hear what you guys have to think. Do you agree? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching as always, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Bye.